Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the third one. And here today's video, we will... Hi guys, it's me, the third one. In our today's video, we will talk about how to find the nth term of a given arithmetic sequence. Last time, meron na tayong introductory video na kung saan define natin yung arithmetic sequence, nagbigay tayo ng samples of arithmetic sequence, and we also tried to calculate for the common difference of a given arithmetic sequence. So without further ado, let's do this topic. Ito na nga guys, sabi nito, finding the nth term of arithmetic sequence. Ano ba yung purpose ng topic nito? So let's have this problem. Find the 20th term of the arithmetic sequence 6, 9, 12, and 15. Again, this is the given arithmetic sequence, 6, 9, 12, and 15. And we are asked to find the 20th term. Ito yung tinutukoy siyang ano, nth term natin sa isang sequence. Ayan yung tinutukoy na nth term. Ngayon, um, may dalawang ways kung paano siya mahanap. At yun yung, mag yung pangalawang method natin, yun yung tutulog sa niya. Pero yung pinakasimpleng way natin dito is manually hahanapin natin yung 20th term. Tapos, Gagawin natin yung um, formula para mas mabilis yung trabaho natin. Diba? If you have 6, 9, 12, and 15, you can find easily, manually, ha, yung 20th term ng mismo sequence natin. Sir, paano po? First, you need to determine your common difference. Your common difference here, obviously, 6, 9, 12, 15, your common difference here, or your D, is equal to 3. So, para mahanap mo yung mga terms nito, kailangan mo lang mag-add ng 3 sa mga existing terms. So, let's say for example, you have this um, 6, 9, 12, 15. Kung meron ka ng 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. So, meron ka ng 4. Ang next natin dito, guys, is ito. 18, 21, 24. Mag-add lang tayo ng 3. 27, 30. 33, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 33, 36, 39, 42, right? 45, 48, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 19, 20, which is 63. Ngayon guys, ang pinapahanap sa atin ay yung 20th term. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So ngayon, um, gamit yung manual computation natin, uh, using your common difference and the uh, four existing terms, yung ating 20th term, ito yung ating 20th term ha, ay yung 63. So ngayon, um, pwede to. Pero ang tanong dito, what if ang pinapahanap sa'yo ay yung 50th term ng given sequence ito? Kasi hindi naman lagi yung 20th, hindi naman yung sobrang uh, 10th term. What if naka-encounter ka that you're asked to find the 50th term? Diba? Time consuming. So this time, don't get me wrong ha, this one is also correct. This one is also correct, pero um, to lessen yung time na makukonsume natin in calculating a mathematical problem, we need to find a solution para mas padali yung problem natin. Tandaan, the 20th term is 63. So, try natin makuha yung 63. So, ano yung formula na ginagamit, gagamitin natin para mas padali yung pagkakalculate natin ng nth term ng given arithmetic sequence? So, the formula is simply a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus, again, plus d times n minus 1. Ito yung ating gagamitin formula. So, try natin lang. Yung a sub n natin, this is the last term. So, last term, a sub 1, this is your first term. Yung ating d, by the way, that is your common difference. Yung n natin is the number of terms, kung hanggang saan pinapanap sa atin. So, let us use this formula to find the 20th term. So, if this is a sub n, and pinapanap sa yung 
a sub uh, 20th term, ibig sabihin, our problem here is to find a sub 20. Ito yung problem natin. Now, how about the other variables? Your a sub 1 is simply the first term, which is 6. Your common difference is 3. Nakuha natin kanina yan. And the number of terms, or yung n natin, is 20. Your n is equal to 20. Now, given this information, gamitin natin at hanapin yung pang 20th term. And again, we're expecting na makuha natin a sub 20 is equal to 63. So let's try. So this is a sub 20 is equal to your a sub 1, which is 6 plus your common difference, which is 3, times n, which is 20. So 20 minus 1. And syempre, simplify natin to. 6 plus 3 times 20 minus 1 is equal to 19. And then multiplying this, uh, 3 times 19, that is 57. So we have 6 plus 57. Okay, kung makapansin nyo, your a sub 20 here is five, uh, 6 plus 57. That will give you the answer of 63. Kung makapansin nyo guys, parehas na parehas sila. Okay, so ayun. Um... I have provided you the two different methods. You can do the manual computation, gamit yung common difference. Pwede din gamitin yung formula to find the nth term of a given sequence. In the next part of our video, I'll be giving you another example using this formula, pero ibay natin siya. We have this problem. In the given arithmetic sequence, 7, 10, 13, and 16, and so on, to the Indonesia, find n if a sub n is equal to 304. So, literally, parang basically guys, pang pinapanap sa atin dito, pang ilang term daw, C, 304. So, using the same formula, we have A sub N is equal to A sub 1 plus D times N minus 1. All you need to do is to find A sub 1, D, tapos A sub N natin. Pero given na kasi, ba? Yung a sub n natin is equal to 304. Your a sub 1 is equal to the first term, which is 7. And yung ating common difference na letter D ay obviously 3. So ang gabi natin ngayon guys, um, i-plug in natin siya sa ating formula. You have here a sub n which is 304. Okay? Is equal to your a sub 1 which is 7 plus the common difference 3 times n minus 1. Wala tayong pinalit kay n kasi n is missing. Siya yung pinapahanap sa atin. Then, uh, distribute natin to. We have 304 is equal to 7 plus 3n minus 3. Kasi 3n times, at uh, 3 times n is 3n. 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. And then, kung mapansin yung common term kung dalawang to, you have 304 is equal to 4. Kasi 7 minus 3 is equal to 4 plus 3n. Ngayon, itranspose natin sa kabila ito. We have 304 minus 4 the positive maging negative is equal to 3n. Simplify, we have here 300 is equal to 3n divided by 3 divided by 3, cancel, cancel your n is equal to 100. Ito yung sagot natin. So, ano yung ibig sabihin nito? Since we're done with uh, the problem, find n which is n is equal to 100. Ang sagot natin dito, thus, 304 is the, since n is 100, 100 term of the sequence. Ayan yung magiging interpretation natin for this problem. Ayan nga guys. So as you can see, marami kayong possible na pwede paggamitan ng a formula na a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus d times n minus 1 uh, within the range of arithmetic sequence. So kung meron kong question or any topic that you want me to discuss within this channel, feel free to comment down below para makita ko ang yung request. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at i-hit na rin yung bell button 
for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Don. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye!